Welcome to another session with The Technologist. Today we're looking at our TCAPS Google Drive. First thing to look at over here on the left side of the menu is that you have your drive, and of course that is the files that you create. And then you also see shared drives, and these are drives that are connected to groups that you might be involved with. I have a shared drive for our global service trip. I have one for a Power Teacher Pro rollout the technology department shared drive. So depending on the groups that you're engaged in across the district, you'll have a different set of shared drives. Continuing down in this menu, you'll see shared with me. Those are files that have recently been shared with you from another user. Recent files include those files that you've been working on most recently. Makes sense there. Starred files are those files that you have identified as being significant. These are all of my starred files, and frankly, I probably need to clean this up because they're not all as significant as they once were. To add a star to a file, simply right-click on the file and select Add to Starred. You'll notice a star appear, and it will also be added to that list of starred files. There's a new feature in Google Drive called Priority, and Priority contains what are called workspaces. A workspace contains up to 25 different files that maybe you use regularly in order to perform some task. I'm part of a global service trip to Mexico each summer, and I am starting to collect those files that I, we refer to all the time when we're planning our trip. To create a new workspace, I simply hit the Create button here. I've called it Apps and Extensions, and then I can begin to add files to my workspace. Because of what I called it, it selected these two because frankly that language was on each of these documents. I want to add that one to my workspace. This one I don't need to add that agenda so I'll just ignore that one. To continue adding files, I can click on add files, use the search drive feature, select a file, and insert. I'll click done when I'm finished. So how is that useful? I open my Google Drive and I know that I need to work on that trip planning. So I can go to my priority page and then open the workspace that's associated with my trip and have easy access to all of those files that are necessary. So how do you get started creating files? Well, the new button in the upper left hand corner with the big colorful plus sign is how you get started. You can upload a file you can upload a folder. It defaults to showing you these three document types, docs, sheets, and slides, but under the more menu you will also find forms, drawings, maps, sites, and more file types. Before you upload any document I'd like you to check your settings. Make sure that you have convert uploaded files to Google Docs editor format selected. What that will do is if you upload something that is a Word file, for example, it will automatically convert that to a Google Docs format without saving the Word form. Other options on this page include things like make relevant files handy when you need them in quick access. If you select that, the most recent files that you have been working on will appear in that quick access bar. Surface important people and files in Shared With Me. This will bring people that you work with commonly files that you work with often to the top of that list. And finally, make priority my default home page. I'm going to unselect that. I will use that priority page as I need it, but I don't want it to be the place that I start. I'll select done. If I need to access another Google tool, I can use this kind of waffle looking button to access my other Google apps. I select that and I'm presented with this list of other apps. Now if I know that I use sites regularly, I can click and hold and drag that closer to the top of my menu. If I know that I use Classroom regularly, I can do the same thing. This whole menu can be modified simply by clicking and holding on the icon and dragging it to the position you'd like to have it in on that menu. To close that menu, simply click anywhere away from it. In the upper right hand corner is your TCAPS account. You can also add an account if you have a private Gmail account that you'd like to add to be able to access 
you can add the account there. And you never have to worry about storage because the Google for Education storage is unlimited. So just a reminder to get started, select whether you're working in My Drive or maybe you need to access one of your shared drives or your files are available in a workspace. Remember that using the new button allows you to upload or start a new file and that the more button opens up a whole other series of options for files that you can create. To navigate to another Google tool, you can use the waffle and that can be reorganized by click and hold and then drag. Thanks for joining me on this tour of TCAP's Google Drive. Stay tuned to the TCAP's loop for more tutorials, podcasts, and other information.